you are not afraid of heights. Let me say, you can even be in a Texan, you die, sleep and die. Mm. And I love this, I love it. You love it with all your I heart? I love it, I love doing this. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video today, I have this amazing lady called... Lucky Melon Nasasira. Yes, Lucky Melon Nasasira is an amazing lady. I found her doing something incredible, doing a job which is supposed to be done by men, but I was impressed when I came to see a lady doing it and she's here to tell us her story, how did she begin this, what inspired her and how it all started. So guys, if you have an amazing story, if you know someone who has an amazing story to tell the world and they are okay for us to share that story to the world, you can reach out to me at lawrencemayanja13 at gmail.com so lucky you're most welcome on my channel thank you yeah kindly tell us how did this all start i had a brother my cousin brother was uh, doing engineering so later he finished and after that he got a job in inland he started getting a lot of money life changed he used to drive good cars look mm. smart good phones i was <laughs> like oh so he was like you can do it just concentrate on math and physics mm. then English mm. from there I picked the interest of being an engineer mm. though I used it to dream of being of a kind of nurse as a doctor mm. as my parents used it to dream too mm. yeah so right now you were certified engineer yeah what was your dream before coming into this field like when you were still in primary what was your dream okay when I was still in primary I used it to like these people whom I used it to find on banks eh? yeah. there is that stand big okay? ladies mm. who use it less like used to feel so like, you, you oh, want you wanted to be a banker, a banker. Mm. and my parents used to tell me you have to be a doctor and you look like you can fit mm. so they i came to buy the idea to mm. be a doctor so i started calling myself nurse mm. nurse lucky mm. kind of mm. but later i came to change my mind after hearing Robert's story in engineering mm. and the stuff mm. yeah so you went into engineering because of the money not because of the money, <laughs> because but... Because you saw your... <laughs> okay, is for it the first... Yes, for yeah. the first, I liked him. I liked engineering just because of the money. Because he was like, life can change just after school. Mm. Immediately you get a job. And for you, lady, mm. so opportunities are open for you. And immediately you get out, you get like a good job. And mm. starting to get like a good money, you look nice and do everything good. Mm. I was like, hey. And I, used, I was young and I was... I was young, so I used to feel like I can't get it when I'm still young. Mm. Start driving when I'm still young. Eh? Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. What was the reaction of your parents when they came to know that you want to be an engineer? Remember, they had a, they had different dreams for you. Mm. They wanted you to do some other things, but what was their reactions when they came to know that you want to major in this field of engineering? Uh, they came to know when it was late. Mm. I joined immediately when I finished a level like mm. i went to my auntie's place mm. so she took me to a certain school that is what auto mm. to get for, to get a course mm. siphon construction water mm. and the stuff mm. so my parents were like maybe i against our aunt way mm. maybe they thought of taking me to somewhere where i can get midwife mm. they had even got me admissions oh for, they wanted you to go for nancy yes right? kind of mm. Mm. So when I came and reached Watoto, I was like, now here there is a course of my dream. I mm. wanted to be an engineer, so I'll keep quiet mm. for some semesters. Mm. So it was too late when I had already registered and told my papa, I was like, ah, I, I changed my mind, I'm, I'm doing engineering. He was like, what? Mm. You hide this thing from me. Mm. You, you you with your auntie. You. Like, okay, you went behind me, kind mm. of. Mm. Yeah, I did not fulfill his You did dream. your own things behind yes. my back. So mm. he was not happy with me, mm. but later mm. he took it easy. So are, are your parents right now contented? Are they happy for what you're doing? No, at least when I finished school, mm. I was doing my diploma first year. Mm. So when I finished school, mm. I was still schooling, okay, along that way. Mm. Then I had, I never had jobs. Eh? And mm. my father was like, that's why I told you. May I have friends in, in like most of hospitals. So I could have got a good job after your certificate before even going for your, your diploma and further studies. Mm. See now what's happening to you, you know jobs, you you're crying, but you started and you have your documents. Now mm. for what? Mm. I wish you you listened to me. Mm. I was like, hmm. Mm. So at times they 
they feel like maybe they're happy for me because I'm getting what I want, mm. but their wish wasn't fulfilled. So they are not so happy because you uh, never took their yes, path. Yes, they were not really <laughs> happy because I was their last girl, and mm. they maybe and they had never got a doctor in now in their okay my siblings. Oh. So they maybe wished to see the last girl mm. being a doctor. Mm. So they wanted to at least have a doctor in <laughs> yeah. the family. Yeah, maybe it's what they dreamed and... Mm. <sighs> yeah. So which fields are your other siblings uh, in? One is a banker, some mm. are teachers. Mm. Uh, by the way, we have like three teachers. Mm. Okay. That. Mm. So lucky now you've said that, that you were certified engineer. Mm-hmm. And uh, I hope some of our viewers would like to give you contracts. Is it okay if you share your contact details Please, it's in okay. case they want to contact yeah. you? It is very okay. Mm. It is very okay. In case someone wants to build a home, mm. can't you be the engineer of that site from the Still ground? Still, I can do it from, from, from the, the plan, growing. From reading the plan. Actually, do you draw plans? Yes. Like you yourself? Yes, eh? I draft it and mm. yeah. You can draft a plan? For their building, yes, and then also from the ground, from the foundation, yes, up to when the building is finished, yes. So kindly share your contacts with them. My contacts, I'm mm. going to share with my contacts, but please call me for business. Only for business. Only for business. <laughs> I can see she's a beautiful lady. <laughs> some of you guys, business. some of you guys there, <laughs> you might think that yo, I've got my cat. She's there in the video, but she's strictly for business the, yes. the contact she's going to share is strictly for, for business, business. Yeah. all right let's go my whatsapp mm. you can whatsapp me or call me on 078 024 then my airtel 070 94 28 407 407 yeah. how about you have an email yes i do still you can send me an email mm. like I use Lucky Melon Cheezer. Lucky Melon Cheezer. Yes. Okay, I'll be putting the contact details and the email on the screen there, guys. If you want to contact her, she will do an amazing job for your site. As you've been seeing in the video, I found her on site and she was doing a very, very good job. Um, a very, an amazing one. And uh, me personally, I was impressed to see someone like you, a lady, young like you i think you're you're in your early 20s right yes you know women you you you, you, you usually don't say your age. no what it is okay i can tell you my age <laughs> usually, but i will not you usually don't say your age <laughs> i can it's okay <laughs> so considering her age i found her on site in an overall safety gear and she was busy at work not ashamed at all not shy she's so confident and I'm really impressed. Thank you so much for Thank working. you so much for the opportunity. Please, mm. I'm humbled. Yes. Yeah. So guys, if you have an amazing story, if you know someone who has an amazing story to tell the world and they're okay for us to share that story to the world, you can reach out to me at lawrencemayanja13 at gmail.com. lawrencemayanja13 at gmail.com. You can also leave your thoughts in the comment section down there about this amazing lady. And if you've enjoyed this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you will never miss any videos from me thank you